Hi guys! One thing that I always have trouble with on a bike trip is organizing my stuff. You would say after a few weeks, yeah, you get it all organized. But no, not for me. I still, I'm like, where do I put my sweater? Where do I put my spoons? It's just, it's always a mess in my bike bags. And slowly I've been trying to organize it better. Then around a year ago, I found out that Ortlieb start making these inserts. I've used these on uh, several trips and this video, I share my thoughts with you. <music> So yeah, the problem with me is that you've got these big bags, it's big, you can put a lot of stuff in it, but the thing is, if it's full with stuff, where do you find that sweater, you know, then you see it's it always seems to be on the bottom when I'm looking for something and you have to take everything out sometimes when it's pouring rain and you're like, oh no, where did I put it? Or like your rain gear, it's on the bottom instead of the top. You have to take everything out. And then it's great you've got a waterproof bag, but in the end, everything still gets wet. Um, yeah, and that's actually the only thing I really didn't like of bike trips is was organizing it and ex especially packing all your stuff, unpacking it, just took way too much time than it should take, I think. I mean, the pleasure of bike touring is cycling, enjoying beautiful spots. And yeah, okay, you also have to pitch a tent and you have to do all that kind of stuff. You have to, if you're on a serious bike trip, you you know, every day you pack, unpack. It's part of it, but for me, that's not where the fun goes to. <laughs> so I prefer to spend as little time as possible on uh yeah, I'm doing that. So, um, yeah, a year ago, I was looking on the Ortlieb website and I saw these new things and I uh, asked them if I could try it for a while. And they said, okay, so here it is. Here, I'll show you the boxes that they come in. These are the packing cubes. This is the commuter insert. So the commuter insert, as you can see in the picture, is really focused on people who go to their job and bring a laptop and stuff like that. But, you know, there's also people who bring that kind of stuff on a bike trip. Like, I like to bring either a laptop or mostly an iPad. And then it, this also comes, comes in handy. And these packing cubes, I think, come in really handy for your clothes you bring, a towel, uh, maybe your toiletry, your uh, shampoo, your whatever you want to bring. Before I used all that, this stuff, I used uh, little bags here and there, uh, you know, I just bought some, I mean, you can get all kinds of little bags that you can put your stuff in. And that's also a really good way for, for my, well, because I'm a photographer and I make videos, I also bring equipment for that. I already had bags. Wait a minute. I use these of Mindshift, bought them um, just on a photo gear website. And I use that for, as you can see, chargers, cables, things like that. And for me, that really helps. I have like around three of these, two or three, uh, two, <laughs> two or three. So in one of them, I have all my drone gear. In one of them, I have all my charging cables and charging stuff. And try to always put it back the way it should be in there. And yes, I am not great at organizing and it still ends up not where it should be. But I think for me, it really, really helps to have it all in different little bags. Okay, first the packing cubes. Just take this away for a second. Yeah, so the packing cubes, like you can see, uh, are made in a way that they are on top of each other. And it's kind of like a pyramid, as you might see. Uh, that way it easily all fits in the or clip bags. But to be honest, I have uh, different kind of brands uh, that I use. These fit in different bags if they're big enough. This is the Ortley bag and these all fit in here.
Uh, what I've been using it for is just for my clothes. Ta-da! Two sips on each bag. Two sips. Easy to open. You know, I can easily see what's in here. And oh, over here I just have some, some t-shirts, socks and nicely folded, which I also like. Although I cycle, I still like to look nice. It's nice when my t-shirts, you know, still keep nice and stuff. There's a uh, little pockets as well. I have to say, you see here, I didn't really, I, I don't really use that, but um, if you like to, you can put some stuff in there as well. This one is more like a little uh, sports bag. They all have a little hook, so it's easy to take it out of the bag. Uh, so this one now, I just have some uh, winter gear, rain gear in it. Uh, over here, uh, does it, yeah, it also has little pockets. As you can see, these pockets, yeah, it's the only thing that these pockets are, yeah, I don't know if something really stays in there. But, you know, it looks nice, but I haven't really used those. And then, uh, yeah, it's a smaller one. In this case, I have sweater, long trousers, and as well, a little pocket in the side. And then put these on top of each other. And that's the way you can put them in the bag. Very handy. Done. <laughs> The camera insert, sorry, commute, commuter insert, of course, aimed for business people. But I think it also comes in handy on a bike touring trip. Like, well, I do use it because I bring a oh, iPad and or a laptop. In this case, of course, well, mostly I don't bring this huge laptop, but sometimes, sometimes I do. And over here, you can just put it in. And then here's a little Velcro strip. You can close it. I have to be honest, no, I never put in my laptop like this. I do have a back, a little back around it. This one, because well, you know how it goes in bag trips. Dirt comes in, sand comes in. So I like to have a little extra protection. And then I put this in and there's my laptop. And then over here, as you can see, there's a main compartment. So I use that, for example, well, uh, a lens. Here's the drone. And for example, my lens. And then when I open my bag, I can easily see where everything is. Again, I'm in control. If you like, you can even put a little pen in here. And uh, yeah, and here you can put whatever tissues or whatever you need that's handy to have there that you can reach to it straight away. Because this is padded, it keeps it all, you know, it gives it a little bit more support. Uh, yeah, that's why I like it. In my case, I like it to put my lenses in and my laptop, all the things that are, you know, kind of fragile and the back itself doesn't have any padding. So, you know, if your bike falls or if that, I mean, that happens, doesn't it? Then, you know, it has some extra support. I'm, I'm a pretty unorganized person who tries to get organized. And these are the little things that uh, really help. Um, but I, you know, I really love the bike bags of Orkley and Frau Day because this, the whole system is great. It's very easy to put them on and off your bike. But the disadvantage is that there's no organizing thing in there at all. It's just one big hole that you can put your stuff in and it just easily get lost. I was trying to look for the bags I used before, but I couldn't, I really couldn't find them. They were really cheap. I just got them in a kind of a discount store. What I use, was using before really worked. Uh, but yeah, it, they they got damaged pretty quickly. 
because you know a bike trip is rough and the zips broke and that's the thing these zips you know you have to say in the tents these zips seem to be really good i mean they're still working great and as you can see there's no holes or anything they actually look like almost brand new well i really really use them so if you invest in it you have good gear that you can use for a long time you can even throw it <laughs> okay sorry shouldn't laugh at myself um is there any other organizing stuff you could do um yes what i use one second for example i use these vacuum bags see there's a a little plastic thing that's always the thing though where is it i think it's mostly is in my wallet and you can put something in here then you close it and it's vacuum you could use that for example if you bring a pillow i don't know <laughs> that's silly i know it's very silly to bring who would bring a pillow on a bike touring trip i mean that's insane well i do i do because i have an excuse because the fibromyalgia causes that i have it causes chronic pain and i just notice if i have a good pillow which isn't so big it's a travel pillow but i just it, it's way better for my muscles and i feel so much better the next day that for me bringing a pillow is my it saves me and so i don't mind carrying a few hundred grams extra and if you put it in here make it vacuum it gets like a really really small package well um don't throw this thank you all for watching i hope this was useful if you have any questions please you can put that you can ask them here below sometimes i'm a little bit slow in answering i'm sorry for that uh just at the moment which is really great but uh i've got a lot of deadlines at the moment stories for magazines and newspapers uh, it seems to come all together well the deadlines are a lot of times the start of this year i'm working on stories from a year ago but because the winter was kind of hard for you know yeah well my health wasn't that great so now suddenly there's loads of deadlines. Fortunately, the weather is better. I feel better. So I'm working on all those deadlines. But I have been working on videos as well. I've been on several short bike trips in the Netherlands. And I filmed that all for you. Uh, yesterday I was near Rotterdam and Dordrecht. And I filmed that all got the drone out and I'm having a lot of fun so I'm editing all those videos really soon and there's more stuff coming but then you know if I don't always reply straight away that's because of the deadlines but I'm really I really like getting your comments and questions I mean yeah because sometimes when I have so much work I'm like why am I doing all this but then your comments I just that makes me all you know yeah, it makes me all really positive and it makes me really think, oh yeah, yeah, that this is what I'm doing this for. And that also makes going through this lockdown definitely, definitely easier. Uh, yeah, so I thank you all for that. Yes, really, that's, that's, um, yeah, I love, I love it. Thank you. I mean, and I know what I'm doing it for, uh, so... Thank you all for watching. Sorry for going a bit too much blah de blah. Uh, hope to see you next week. Uh, I'm really trying to get the Rotterdam Dordrecht video on next Sunday. So see you then. And uh, of course, happy cycling. Bye bye.